in the previous lesson, we defined the coordinate of a point in a rectangular coordinate system based on two unit bases here, u1 and u2. Well, let's imagine that this point remains here, but we are going to define its coordinate based on a new reference set, v1 and v2, where the axis of y is skewed to the right hand side. So the position of this object is still the same as in the first case. It's just that when we define the coordinate, we have to refer to the new basis here. So let's imagine that for this vector space, the coordinate is spanned by u1 and u2, which means that the u1, u2 are the unit bases here. But for this vector space, it is spanned by v1 and v2. The unit bases will be v1 and v2. So I can write it in this way. The coordinate vector for the p is actually a combination of a multiplied with u1 and plus b multiplied with u2, which will give me the coordinate of a and b. And in this case, will be c multiplied with v1 and d multiplied with v2, which will give me the coordinate of c and d. So it seems like there's a connection between these two coordinate system because the position of that point or vector remain the same. It's just that the reference axes are different. So how are the two coordinates here can be related to each other? So this is related to something that we are going to learn today, which is the change of basis because the basis for two reference systems are different. Now let's imagine that the first vector space is spanned by u1 and u2. So this will be the all basis and another set of system which is the b prime will be spanned by u1 prime and u2 prime so this will be the new basis so if you are going to visualize this out it will be something like this is the b system and this is the b prime system and we want to know what is the connection between the coordinate of this point in the b system and the coordinate of this point in the b prime system suppose that the old basis can be linked to the new basis in this way so let's imagine that the first basis here can be linked to the new basis according to these combinations of a multiplied with u1 prime and b multiplied with u2 prime so the a and b are unknowns this is just an assumption whereas for the second basis the second old basis can be linked to the new basis in this combination c multiplied with u1 prime and d multiplied with u1 u2 prime and now let the all coordinate vectors be v equivalent to k1 u1 plus k2 u2 so this is the coordinate of that point with reference to the all bases u1 and u2 and from the previous lesson we know that the coordinate vector for this v the coordinate will be k1 k2 here so i can express it in this coordinate form k1 k2 and now what are we going to do is we are going to substitute the all bases here with the assum with the assumption that we have met here where the u1 expressed in the form of the new bases so you substitute everything u1 and u2 into this coordinate system and you end up v equivalent to a constant here multiplied with the u11 prime and u2 prime so this u1 prime and u2 prime are the new bases and we have actually come to the end of the steps here where we found, found out that the coordinate vector of v based on the new basis is actually v based on the new basis here is the k1a plus k2c the coordinate here and the coordinate corresponding to the second basis here and if I'm going to express it in this coordinate form will be this so I can further simplify that this is actually a multiplication of a b c d with the k1 k2 so if you can try to multiply these two matrix together you will end up with the similar matrix here and we know from the previous assumption here the coordinate vector the coordinate vector based on the all bases is k1 and k2 so k1 k2 is actually the all coordinate vectors so i can express this in the form of the new vector based on the new basis here is equivalent to a multiplication of the ABCD matrix with the all fact coordinate vectors. So this ABCD matrix is known as the transition matrix which transform the coordinate from the old basis to the new basis here. So let's look at one example here. Imagine that we have a B 
consists of u1, u2 as the basis and b prime with u1 prime and u2 prime as the basis. So you have been asked to find out the transition matrix from this b prime base to the b basis. So now the old basis in this case will be the b prime and the new basis will be the b and follow, follow the same steps here we are going to assume that the old basis the u prime here can be expressed in the form of new basis u1 and u2 and since this is a simple example I can directly express it in the form of u1 and u2 just by based on inspection I know that the u1 prime is actually a combination of 1 u1 plus 1 u2 and the all basis of b prime u2 prime here can be obtained by combining 2 u1 plus 1 u2 here so the coordinate of this old basis system is actually 1 and 1 whereas for the coordinate of this u2 prime is 2 and 1 so you combine them together and this will be the transition matrix from the old basis b prime to the new basis b now let's work on the reverse one transition matrix from the b to the b1 b prime here so the old basis will be the b and the new basis will be b prime and based on inspection i can see that the u1 the old basis is actually can be obtained from the negative u1 prime plus u2 prime so you get in this form and for the similar you do the same for u2 you should end up with the 2 u1 prime minus u2 prime based on inspection to get the value of 0 1 here so you can express them in the form of coordinate vector negative 1 and 1 2 and negative 1 here and you put them side by side as a column vector so this will be your transition matrix from the old basis b to the new basis b prime and the last one is if you have been given the ve coordinate vector of v based on the b prime as negative 3 and 5 so what is the v b here so the v the vector the coordinate vector of v based on the basis of b so this will be the new basis and the b prime will be the old basis what you need to do is you have to multiply it with a transition matrix which transform the coordinate from b prime to b so which you have found out in the first solution here so 1 1 2 1 so you multiply with the coordinate vector of v b prime so this 7 2 will be the new coordinate for this vector b v based on the b basis and actually there is a more efficient method for computing the transition matrix instead of having doing it solving it by based on inspection because when you involve more complicated cases it is almost impossible for us to deduce what is the connection between the old basis and the new basis and the efficient way is actually to form the matrix where the new basis will be on the left hand side and the old basis will be on the right hand side so let's say that the new basis is the u prime and the old basis is the u1 so I'm just going to put them into the column vector u1 prime u2 prime u1 and u2 side by side and the second step is you use elementary row operation to reduce it to where on the left hand side you will get the identity matrix and the leftover matrix on the right hand side will be the transition matrix so this method is quite similar with the row operation to find the inverse of a matrix and the last step is to take it out and this will be your transition matrix